Guys, this is an in-depth tour of the all-new 2020 LDV T60. Towards the front, you got full LED headlights, as you can see. You also got some nice LED daytime run lights as well. The purpose of LED daytime run lights is it makes you a lot more visible to other road users, especially in the early mornings or dawn and dusk situations. You also got some nice peanut black trim inside the headlight there, as you can see. Along with some little bits of some nice chrome as well. See very prominent chrome grille. So we've got some lower fog lights. See you also got some a nice sort of scuff plate, chrome scuff plate as well. Turbo hook. Now there's no fuel consumption stickers on this car but I'll leave them in the description below. Show you the wheels, they're hard to see. Alloy wheels, in terms of tyres they are Dunlop 8020 Grand Trek tyres. In terms of the tyre size they are a 17 inch tyre. Them, the rubber. Try to see where they made him, not really too sure, but I'll leave that in the detailed description. LED turn signals mounted on the side of your mirrors. In terms of the purpose of that is it makes it a lot easier for people to see what which way you're going, especially when changing lanes on like a freeway, as it's within your field of view, which is actually quite good. Oop. 60. So you've got running boards on the sides. Makes it easier to get in and out of the vehicle. Oh, this is a better angle. So disc brakes, which is quite nice. Get better look at the tyres here. These do come in the option on a long wheelbase version as well. So there's a, another one there, you can see how much longer the long wheelbase version, which I'll do a video for another time. Show you tail lights. Step back to this side, see a little more. Old DV 60 Side motor. So, rear backup camera, very useful. You also got four parking sensors mounted into the rear bumper as well. Single exhaust. So, it looks like this one's got a solid rear axle. And you also got leaf spring suspension. That's what you got. And you got a small size spare tire. Also got this one you can also use as a step as well. It's actually not heavy, the tailgate. Some tailgates are opened up really way too heavy, especially when they do it by hand. Got a little bit of water there. So this is actually fitted with some the plastic top lining to protect the inside of the utes, or as Americans call it, trucks. <laughs> so, you can see, nice and wide, which is really good. So the towing capacity and that stuff, I'll leave that in the description below. Got some hooks here which is great if you want to tie down large items and whatnot. Third braking light to help visibility, especially when you're braking. Makes it much easier for people to see you. Got chrome door handles, also really nice. 
I do have the key with me, so I thought I'd use this opportunity to show you. So it's the stand key fob. Pretty stand looking key. We unlocked it. Now, in terms of LDVs, where they're made in, they're made in China, in case you're wondering. Material. I've actually driven one of these, I might have to just pop these. Let's just turn that down and put this up. So, as I was saying, so I've actually driven one of these, and they actually surprisingly drive really nicely. So I actually was quite surprised about that. So that was actually quite interesting, anyway. So here's the interior of the LDV 260. Now I'll just turn on the gauges. So it's actually got keyless ignition, as you can see here. Let's press this one here. Lights come on. So stand stuff, so you've got your you got your rev counter towards the left, temperature gauge for the engine, a little multifunction display to display all your little information like your trips and stuff like that, speedometer and your fuel gauge. So if you go I don't know if you can scroll through with this one or is it the other one? So this one is, I think, yep, so this one's also a four-wheel drive model, so you've got two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel drive lock, so also really cool. Turn this off a moment. So you've got your wipe controls to the left, and you've got your headlight indicator controls to the right, to the right. And yeah, the quality is actually quite nice, you can see, it feels very solid, not tacky feeling. So you've got leather wrap string wheel in this version with some nice black stitching, which is actually quite nice. So all your buns here feel quite nice as well. Even all the volume controls. Kind of sounds like it's got Android tablet, hands-free telephone, all that. Got the storage here, also very nice. All hard plastics here, you got a little bit of your match looks like you can put your smartphone if you desire. So I'll just turn this back on. So turn the wipers back. So anyway, there you go. So you got Android, Android tablet, which is kind of like style tablet. So this runs on Android, as you can see. So if I go to home, which I believe that's a home, you can see the display for yourself. So it's not too bad. Um, FM radio. The stereo is actually surprisingly good. I was actually quite impressed with it. It's actually quite clear. So what I'm doing that is just to avoid um, copyright. very clear. Um, contacts. You also got Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which is actually really useful, which I can't exactly... Yeah, there you go. So you got Apple CarPlay. Very useful. So you can actually connect your smartphone or Android Auto or whatever you like and stuff like that. So pretty useful stuff. Um, the colors do look a little bit washed out, which is kind of annoying. And when you're driving, I've noticed that when you're backing out, it's kind of hard to see a little bit, but that's because of the glare. But I think you could just always put little, you know, those little anti-glare films on top, or maybe it's got some sort of film over it, which is the reason why. But anyway, um, yeah, so actually pretty nice buns as well. All feel very solid, which is actually really good. Air conditioning. So, fan speeds. Blows really cold, so that's one thing I'm surprised. It actually blows really well. And you got a little display that shows everything. So, if I switch to. Whoop, there you go, mode. You can sort of see the little animation, and then you can adjust the fan speeds and all that. Different modes. Front, rear demisted, heated seats, recycling, all that. All very cool stuff. You can see with yourself, you got lane departure warning, very useful. Eco power. Kind of like how this actually picked up a ute, not a car. But yeah, actually pretty nice, the buns. 
hold the buttons, hold the sense control. I did mention about how you can change the um like all where you want four wheel drive, two-wheel drive, you got all that. Got this sort of shift knob, it's cool with some vinyl and some black stitching up super really nice there. Mm, did, someone didn't put the handbrake up. So you got some decent storage here. So you got two cup holders. You can fit these large bottles. This is a 750 milliliter bottle. I found my old trusty bottle. It fits there quite nicely and nicely fits there too. So you got tons of storage, which is actually really useful. Got this again, some red stitching. And you got a little bit of storage, which doesn't house any sockets. And you got these vinyl seats. So not leather, vinyl, so. But they are quite comfortable, so could use a bit more bolstering, but yeah, pretty impressive. You can see some red stitching there. They're not perforated on this model. But yeah, you got a sunglass holder, also very useful. I seem to be shaking a lot with the camera. I actually got a problem with my hand, which is a story for another time. Another bandy mirror there. Um, visibility is actually quite good as well. You can see easily, even for the rear as well, which is also quite nice. Got some handles, oh, handle over here for the passenger. Both of this just a turn. Forgot you got USB ports here. This textured finished rubble. Very nice. A little bit of storage here if you want to hide a candy bar or a little snack. Oh, did forget the switches also feel very nice too. As you can see, the quality of them quite feel really well made. Jump into the rear. So here's the rear seats. So, got a center cup holder, very useful. Sorry, there's not really much room because this car's a little bit sandwiched between the other vehicles. So the build quality is actually quite good. I mean, listen to the door noise. Try that one time. So it's very solid. So it's actually quite nice. So again, you've got some map pockets here. Got another one here. Got rear vents, which is also really handy. Some cars don't have rear vents, which is kind of, kind of sucks. Got a 12 volt slash 120 watt power outlet. One thing is you actually got space to put your feet underneath. Sometimes they don't put the footwells as deep for the rear passengers. You have a relatively small transmission tunnel, which is good, and it's nice and flat, nice and flat, so you can easily fit your self here. Now I'm quite short, so obviously I'm gonna have a lot of room, but I reckon tall people will be pretty alright in the back of here. And I'll just show you the interior from the rear seat. It does have some hard plastics, I'll be honest, even for the front. I do this deliberately just to show you the build quality. You can kind of see you got some red stitching here. Same seats as the front. Red stitching. And some more over here. Got isofix points, which is actually very useful. You can easily mount a child's seat. Storage in the rear is very good. Actually, probably the best I've seen for you in particular. Um, this one's a little bit big, but you can... Just snug this 750ml bottle, which is good. But yeah, the storage for the rear is really good. So on the sides, you easily fit a large bottle, which I kind of feel that some utes don't have that much storage for the rear. That's kind of surprising. Again, switches, feel very nice. <sighs> eee, got my phone. It's not good, is it? Quickly show you the engine bay, real quick. Hands are getting very sore. It's gonna be a little bit hard to open and close the boot, so I do apologize, this does look a little bit messy. Oh, okay. 
So, spring assisted. That's, that's a relief. Okay, so here's your engine. So it's got a 2.8 litre VGT engine. As I mentioned, these are made in China. Air filter, engine. So that's a little walk around of the all new LDV T60. Hope you enjoyed this video and um, this car is for sale so I do have a link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing this car. Feel so free to click it if you want to book a test drive or you want to purchase the vehicle or anything like that or get more information or even find the offers. So feel free to click it. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.